Welcome to our channel, as we gather in the warmth of our shared faith, I extend a heartfelt blessing to each of you. Today, we reflect upon recent events that have unfolded within the sacred confines of our spiritual journey. In the shadow of the Vatican, where prayers are whispered and hopes ascend, an extraordinary incident occurred on January 20, 2024. Two innocent children, guided by the benevolence of Pope Francis, released white doves of peace, only to witness one confronted by the harsh reality of nature. As we delve into the profound implications of this event, let us open our hearts to receive the blessings that unfolded amid the signs surrounding us. May our time together be illuminated by divine insight and shared understanding, as we seek the wisdom inherent in the unfolding tapestry of God's messages through nature, prophecies, and the guiding hand of our spiritual leaders. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful and kindle in them the fire of divine love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, recently, on January 20th, 2024, at the heart of our spiritual home, the Vatican, two children, guided by the benevolent presence of Pope Francis, released white doves of peace from the window of the Apostolic Palace during the Angelus Prayer. Yet, amidst the hope for peace, a sorrowful incident occurred. One of the doves, a symbol of peace, was mercilessly attacked by a crow and a seagull. The visual evidence captured in photos stirred reactions on social media, with many interpreting this incident as a sign, a sign not easily dismissed. Let us ponder this occurrence together. For us, it is not a mere coincidence, it is a sign from God. Nature, a living testament to God's creation, can be a messenger. It speaks to us in ways beyond our comprehension. The attack on the Dove of Peace compels us to reflect on the turbulence in our world. As the unsettling event transpired on this fateful day, when the symbolic release of white Doves of Peace met with a tragic turn, a pervasive sense of foreboding enveloped the hearts of many. This incident, where one of the Doves fell prey to the aggression of a crow and a seagull, is perceived by some as an ominous sign. A shadow of concern looms over the year 2024, hinting at the possibility of tumultuous times and a series of wars. The Pope, with solemnity, delivered a cautionary message to the major powers, foretelling imminent major crises and conflicts on the horizon. The fragility of the present moment of peace, akin to the vulnerability of those pigeons, hangs in the balance. In light of these dire prospects, a heartfelt plea is extended to all, engage in prayer and fasting. It is through these spiritual acts that we may collectively seek to mitigate the consequences and avert the looming major crises that threaten to unfold in the year 2024. May our united efforts in prayer and fasting serve as a beacon of hope and resilience against the challenges that lie ahead. Amidst the collective apprehension, Pope Francis, the spiritual shepherd, wears a mantle of sadness. His heart, undoubtedly heavy with the weight of such a distressing occurrence, reflects the gravity of the moment 
and the potential challenges that lie ahead. In times like these, may we turn our hearts to prayer and seek solace in the guidance of our spiritual leaders. Pope Francis, recognizing the signs of our times, consecrated Our Lady to Our Lady of Fatima. The ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine, Palestine, and Israel serves as a backdrop, echoing the warnings of Our Lady, a call for conversion to avert the spread of errors throughout the world. As we navigate the uncertainties of the future, let us not overlook the significance of the upcoming church bell in October. A potential schism looms, and in these moments, we are reminded that everything can be a sign from God. Creatures and animals, included in God's creation, can be messengers of divine messages. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, consider the experience of St. Faustina, who faced demonic forces after her adoration. She stood firm in her faith, echoing the sentiment that God is always holy, just, and infinitely merciful. In times of trial, her strength prevailed, and the demons fled in the face of her omnipotent connection with God. So, dear brothers and sisters, let us be attuned to the signs around us. Share this message with those around you. The dove's plight may be a harbinger of the times we live in, and Pope Francis's actions may hold profound significance. The prophetic words of Conchita regarding the Pope's return and the potential wars for Europe should not be taken lightly. Almighty and merciful God, we humbly gather before you in prayer, lifting our hearts and voices in supplication for our beloved Pope and the entire world. Bless Pope Francis with wisdom, strength, and divine guidance as he navigates the challenges that lay before him. Grant him courage and discernment to lead your church with love and compassion. In your infinite mercy, we implore you to extend your divine protection over our Holy Father. Surround him with your heavenly grace, shielding him from harm and providing him with the resilience needed to carry out his sacred duties. As we offer our prayers for the Pope, we also lift the world in earnest entreaty. Heal the wounds that divide nations, fostering understanding and cooperation among all people. Grant us the wisdom to seek peace, the humility to show compassion, and the strength to confront injustice. In times of uncertainty, may your light illuminate the path of humanity. Inspire us all to strive for a world filled with love, tolerance, and unity. Bless each corner of the globe with the grace to overcome adversity and work towards a future founded on justice and peace. Lord, hear our prayer for the Pope, for world leaders, and every soul in need. May your divine love and mercy reign over us all, now and forever. Amen. <laughs>